Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. Today I'll be discussing about the drugs used for nasal decongestion. So the mnemonic what I have made is from the term National Malaria Eradication Program. So the classification of drugs for nasal decongestants can be better remembered by if we remember the mnemonic National Malaria Eradication Program where every letter, the every initials of National Malaria Eradication Program will correspond to one class of the drugs which are used in the treatment of nasal decongestants. So this mnemonic can help us to better re remember the classification of drugs used for nasal decongestions. So here the N of the national corresponds to the nefazolin group of drugs. The brand name by which it is mostly found in the market is the Preveen. Next we have the M that is from the national malaria. M is corresponding to the metazolins group of drugs like the which comprises of the two broad categories that is the oxymetazolin and the xylometazolins. The oxymetazolins are better available in the market in the form of Nasivion and Sinarest whereas the xylometazolins they are available in the market in the form of Otrivin and Dicon. The E corresponds to the ephedrine and the pseudoephedrines and P corresponds to the phenylephrine and the phenylpropanolamine. So this was the mnemonic, how we can easily recollect the classification of drugs used in nasal decongestion. S students, please note that the suffix I-N-E, I-N-E -E in all these drugs corresponds that these all drugs belong to the alkaloid series. Now looking at the mechanism of action of these drugs, when looking at the mechanism of actions, the nasal decongestants are sympathomimetics and they act by local vasoconstriction. When talking of the adverse effects, regular use of these agents for long periods should be avoided because the mucosal ciliary function is impaired. Another side, side effect or the adverse effects which can be seen is the atrophic rhinitis that is the inflammatory degeneration of the nasal mucosa. The third side effect which can be seen is the anosmia that is the loss of smell sensation and the last side effect the systemic side effects can be seen in the form of CNS depression and increased blood pressure. So viewers this was the mnemonic as to how we can easily recollect or remember the classification of drugs used for nasal decongestion in the exams viewers if you like my video please subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon to get further updates of my newer videos thank you for watching